Gary against with another crap video from the California Center for Research and Advanced Paddling. We're going to take a look at flutter, flutter, flutter. Okay, so we're going to do some standing paddling, and I have both a wing blade, my baby Jantex, and a Euro blade here. And what I'm going to try to do is put a lot of force on this by standing and trying to shovel. Let me turn this way so the sun is behind as much water as I can. First with the wing blade. So I'm going to try to put it in and do a stroke similar to what I would be doing on on the kayak going out and back. And you see as I if I try to, as hard as I can it flutters. By fluttering I mean it spills water one way or the other and this, although that's a big lip, it doesn't prevent the water from flowing over if I push it hard enough. I think you can see. I cannot control it. I cannot stop the fluttering. Let's take a look at the Euroblade. Do the same thing. Try to do a out and back style and see what happens. It's this. As hard as I can. Now with a smaller blade. But I'm putting as much pressure as I can and it doesn't flutter. Just the opposite of what I would have expected and what other people have said. So, give that a try yourself and see what happens. This obviously has implications for the belief by some paddlers that this is just a dumbed down Euroblade and it prevents flutter. Uh, I get no, absolutely no flutter from either of these in, in the boat. Uh, but obviously I'm not paddling this one hard enough for it to show up. Uh, but that is interesting. So be that as another piece of data on looking at paddling and equipment.